Hey, what's going on, y'all? How y'all doing today? I'm back. I'm back. I am back. I am back at ATS. I've been gone for a while from ATS due to the fact that I got sick and uh, had to go home, get myself healed up, be ready to roll. Well, as you can see, this truck is Freightliner Coronado. Uh, it's a heavy haul truck. They got the lift axle. Um, I want to say 20,000 pound steer axle, 20,000 pound uh, lift axle. And each axle separate is 27,000 pounds on each axle separate. So that's what, 52, 54,000 pounds I can put back here. Um, it's a 2020 and everything. I got two speed rims on it. It needs some grease on that fifth wheel though. But I got some I got two speed rims on it. And uh everything is basic. So as you can see, this truck, it got a one on it up there. So I'm a company driver this time. Last time I was here, I was a um the last time I was here, I was a lease driver. Now I'm a company driver. So this is what the Coronado looks like if you get one on the inside. I don't know if all of them have a black interior, but I got power windows, power mirrors, but not locks. Each lock is manual. Manual lock it. All right. This truck got 243,000 miles on it. Not bad. It's a 2020. I got the white gauges. And then I got a whole plethora of uh, switches. So dome light on the inside of the cab. This is for the menu information on the screen. Def, the regen button, shut down override button, cause this is a company truck. So it'll shut down after so many uh, minutes of idling because it got an APU on it. This is my beacon light. This control the beacon light on the top in the center of the truck. Then I have This light here, uh, this button here, this button, and this one. One up, this one controls the beacon lights on the side of the truck. Let me show you. That side, and on the left and right side. That This button right here controls that. This button controls my work lights. Um, auto. Traction control, normal, spin, so if I'm spinning out, I hit that and it should automatically get my traction control. This traction control button. Engine brake, high, low, off. Cruise control right here. Cruise control on, cruise control off. That's the resume, accelerate, set it, and coast. This is the uh, lights, my marker lights. My, um, like if you pass somebody and they let you in, flash your marker lights, thank you. All right, windshield wipers on high, 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 low, 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 wash, fast, slow, and push in for that. Push in for on and off, up, push in for on and off, up for speeding up, slowing down, push in to wash your windshields, down to make it slower or faster. All right, I turn the dome light on. All right, now I got a bunk override. That's the override, the AC, AC in the bunk. High range, like I said, I got two speed rings. Low range, high range. This is my fifth wheel slide. Lock the fifth wheel, unlock the fifth wheel. I mean, uh, unlock, lock. Axle differential, uh, unlock, lock. Axle, lift axle, down, up. And then this one right here is for my suspension. Lower the suspension or automatic uh, lift the suspension. Also got a trailer brake here. I can test my trailer brakes. All right. So that's it up front. Obviously, you know, AC controls, heated mirrors, heated mirrors here. I can turn the lights on my footwell. You see it's red. Turn it on, turn it off. This is the dim my, my lights on my dashboard. Then over here, headlights on. 
park lights on, off. Turn signal, turn signal up for the high beams, low beams, left, right, and then pull out, turn my four ways on. Standard, basic, horn, air horn. All right, that's it. And it got an Eaton 18 speed. A Eaton 18 speed transmission. So it got three, up front it got three, uh, one, two, and three cigarette lighters up front. That's the uh, Lytic system that ATS has. Um, I'll probably talk about that later on. Well, I might not even talk about that at all. Up, down for the window. Then, like I said, manual door lock right here. It has curtains to go around the windshield. The curtains for the sleeper I have under my bed. They will put a, a refrigerator in. If you're a company driver, you can ask for a refrigerator. They will put it in. All right, that'll be the refrigerator you get. Nice little unit. And this is a brand new refrigerator, brand new. I asked them to put another seat in here cause the passenger seat was missing. So I asked them to put a uh, seat in and they put a brand new seat in. This is for my riding partner, my son. He gonna ride with me, y'all. Got this cabinet. What I got is I got a printer, my iPad, paper, and then more paperwork up here for my storage up top. Then there's some storage in here. I got hard hat safety vest, well two hard hat safety vests, um, knee pads and stuff like that. This in here, my bag that I'll be taking when I go take a shower and a jacket. This in here, outside of my, uh, my shower bag, nothing. That's gonna be these two bag. This these two right here gonna be for my son when he ride with me. Uh, Bible, Bible one, and second Bible. I got two Bibles in. Some uh, deodorant, laundry, laundry stuff up top. Outside of that, uh, it's a standard bed, twin size bed. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. It's twin size bed. Um my sleeper controls ac heat dome light speaker mute and a cigarette lighter and then apu since i have an apu in this truck turn it on okay then i got another cabinet where i got clothes at my clothes in the washing machine right now so i ain't got many clothes in here but I got some clothes hang them up um yeah that's that piece. Next spot, more clothes. And uh, put my shoes down there. Now what I did was I bought a carpet from Walmart and I cut slits in it for the car for the uh, seat belts. And then I cut a square in it so it'll fit around my gear shift. So that's pretty much that's pretty much the inside of the truck. That's a quick tour of what the truck looked like. Um, I'm finna tell y'all what, what the truck got on it. So it has a... eighty-five pound gross vehicle weight rating. Front axle is 20,000 pounds. Lift axle is 20,000 pounds. And the drive axles, I was wrong. I said 27. It's 22,700 pounds on each drive axle. And this is a 2020. Outside of that, you guys have yourself a blessed day. I will holler at y'all later on.